Spooky time! Spooky! What's spooky? Spooky time? Hmm. So heavenly minded, no earthly good, that's spooky too. But beloved, I come to you love from love, both from hope, peace from peace. Uh, this is the program about the gift of knowledge, good, bad, and otherwise. And uh, I appreciate uh, my sister's um, uh, advice to do this uh, video. Trudy uh, knows all. And uh, I don't think I taught her everything that she thinks that I did, but uh, maybe she's taught me a lot of good lessons and given me a lot of good advice. So this program is thanks to uh, Trudy Darlene, and it's, it's time to uh, kick back and uh, become in informed. And that's exactly what we need need to do. And uh, so love from love, hope from hope, peace from peace, our Prince of Peace, who comes forth on the great white cloud uh, of his own magnificence, and the Holy Spirit comes. And uh, the, the uh, I'm going to tell you a few things about the gift of knowledge, some good things and some bad things. But in the end... Uh, people are to use discernment and try to uh, muddle on through what's what's good, proper, upright, and what maybe is spooky, spiritual. So get ready, people. It's a common. So beloved, here is uh, an example of something that's that's outright uh, from some con artist. Uh, it's personal prophecy stemming from uh, a lot of ministries out there are running with this. I've had some uh, well-known ministers under their banner uh, fly this at me, and this has been around for a while. Uh, here's the prophecy, uh, and I'm going to turn this down just a hair. So get ready. Here it comes. Here's, here's an example of the abuse of the prophetic word, which really does cheapen it. Uh, to total strangers, this junk mail is sent. Beloved, I don't know you in person, but God knows you. God ministered to me in a revelation with, when I was on your profile to see things around you. I saw blessings, but, uh, but spiritual attacks, uh, holding them in prayers. And I saw a woman in the realm of the spirit monitoring and plotting delay in your life. This is very generalized in a way. Uh, with a in, saw the lady with an evil mirror and uh, with a motive to destroy. But as I speak to you now, her time is up. Render her, uh, render a, a hand of favor with anything you can afford to give to these motherless foundation, the Rima Orphanage in Ni Nigeria, uh, Port Harcourt. Before 20 days, if you do it with faith, before 20 days, as I raise my hand towards heaven and pray for you, then that'll serve as a point of contact wherever you are, and you will receive a double portion of grace to excel in total restoration of breakthrough in your life and in the life of your family. Ask for their account details and help uh, them or call the contact MD in charge of the orphanage to get their details uh, in WhatsApp, and then there's uh, information there how to uh, do this. So that is an abuse of uh, prophecy, the prophetic word that cheapens it. Now, uh, I am the end time revelator people, and I'm gonna give you uh, some understanding in a, a moment about the word of knowledge. Uh, but first I'm gonna tell you a little story about my sister, Cheryl Ruth, May Ruth Owsley. I'm on the phone to her, and she didn't know, but this is about 30 years ago. Uh, I was ministering to Satan worshipers, and they were in the back of my uh, car. She had no way of knowing this, but I'm on the phone to her, and she had a word of knowledge. And she says, Daniel, your, 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 your wheel of your car is going to lock up. And, uh, and I'm like, what are you talking about? She says, God says. Uh, the wheel of your, your your vehicle is going to lock up. Now, I have dropped off these Satan worshipers, but I didn't know that they had left somehow a, a spiritual curse upon that car and upon me. 
and uh, she had a valid gift of knowledge. And so as I started to leave, you know, how could a wheel lock up? That's impossible. Uh, you know, I've been around the block a little bit. I've been driving maybe for 15 years, 20 years at that point, maybe, I don't know. But the bottom line is a wheel do just doesn't lock up. But this is the word of knowledge she gave me. So I'm getting out on the 401 in Canada, going towards uh, London, Ontario, uh, Toronto. And uh, long story short, uh, I, I, I'm driving and my wheel locked up. Like I couldn't turn it to the right. I couldn't turn it to the left. I was trying to merge with traffic ahead and it locked up. So uh, because she had just told me this, I automatically took my uh, foot off the uh, pedal and I started to coast. I decelerated very quickly and um, and uh, I started to put put on the brakes because I was starting to go pretty fast. And uh, so, you know, if, 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 if the timing had been a little bit different, I would have been in trouble. But because I had the advanced warning and a valid gift of knowledge came to uh, my rescue and I didn't panic. And um, so I was fine and the, the, the car decelerated. And uh, well, that was as valid of a word of knowledge as I've ever heard. Now, I, I have to tell people that I've been uh, a bit ashamed of my brethren out there, people of love, because uh, I've been preaching for months and no one seems to really trust me. No one seems to ever uh, been able to put all the dots together that I have been putting together. And uh, no one sends me a like uh, comments or comments, no comments or uh, no likes, thumbs up. So I've started to ask for money. And my, my sister pointed out to me that I got to be careful because she said, because uh, I have gifts of knowledge that are, are authentic people. I am the revelator of revelation. And um, Paul foretold that the revelation of the sons and daughters of God would come and that uh, the revelation of the lawless one would have to come before Jesus came back and uh, the falling away, the revelation of that would have to happen. And I'm behind all three of those. So um, you have to have some revelation. I've also been uh, shown who the false prophet of Revelation 13, 13 is, Dr. Auer, who uh, claims to be the two witnesses. They Don't you know they jumped into him and they focused, uh, they took a picture of him out of focus. Now he claims to be the two witnesses. Uh, I'm also the revelator of uh, much revelation uh, that I'm, I'm giving in this hour. The first is last, the last is first. Seven trumpet has sounded first out of chronological order. And uh, the Bible has always been written correctly to Israel and all mankind, and it still says so. So, uh, revelation, beloved, and uh, uh, the Lord, has, I have my antennas up. And sometimes I've been off. Everybody that is a prophet have all been a false prophet at times, everyone. But uh, my sister pointed out to me that uh, I was giving words of knowledge about uh, people with uh, certain names from certain places. And uh, she said, nope, that ain't going to be good because a lot of people are going to think you're just fake or it sounds fake. And uh, meanwhile, these things have not been fake at all. But I'm going to listen to my little sister because she has much wisdom, just because it could have the appearance of uh, maybe something not upright. She says to me like this, Trudy, Trudy Smart, she says, you know, you got all kinds of uh, truth in your mouth, but this sounds a little off. And, uh, you know, not to her, but to other people, she could conceive how, yep, this is fishy. Uh, so she says, like, well, first off, you got to tell people if you're asking for e-transfer for $2, $10. And someday somebody is going to actually support uh, our, our Elijah Task Ministry and send a few bucks. I'm praying 10000 would be nice, too. Armageddon.owsley at gmail.com. But uh, she says, first off, uh, people don't even know how to spell Armageddon. Is it two Ds, two Gs? So, uh... <laughs> So I guess I'm going to provide the spelling from now on. But the bottom line is that's a little thing. But I don't want no appearance of nothing off in uh, my prophecy interpretation or gifting of knowledge, even though it, it has been valid what I've been given. And uh, so, you know, um, I had uh, um, uh, 
a gift of knowledge that a so-and-so in Indianapolis named, I forget what her name was, but a name popped into my head. And, you know, I've never done, uh, I've never planned on being a YouTuber. I'm not a minister. Uh, I sell meat door to door. Um, I've never been to a school of uh, training for anything that I know, anything that I understand. Uh, the Holy Spirit breathed upon me and the blindness uh, of my former uh, blinders fell off under the, the, the glorious rays of his love radiating from off of his dove of love that comes forth upon the cloud. So people, um, this is going to get exciting, but um, I'm going to read uh, some verses now about uh, the gift of knowledge and take what's good, leave what's bad, and uh, know that there, there is misuse of prophecy. And because there has been a misuse of prophecy, um, we have a false distortional God of love with condemnation in his mouth for everyone. And this has never been the way it was. Christianity built uh, the correct lit religion, and now comes the Lord standing on this cloud of the great white uh, cloud of Revelation 14. I am the uh, gospel writer of the everlasting gospel. First video under the channel, if anybody will ever look. Nobody's looking. I'm telling people, but nobody's uh, believing uh, because they don't believe Jesus that Elijah would come and restore all things. Or they don't believe Moses that another uh, gospel writer of creation would come and another covenant giver. And I am the weeping messenger of the weeping uh, prophet Jeremiah, a kindred spirit to him. But the uh, gift of knowledge, people, though valid, it can be twisted. And in the case of uh, what happened, what's happened in the past, um, Jesus knew this would happen. And he knew that though six billion people in the world would, would have dislike towards Christianity and not like it at all, the most hated uh, religion of the world and the most beloved but not understood correctly, he knew that would change in the latter days. And he said in Matthew, uh, or in John 10, 15 and 16, in the latter days the other flocks, not of the Hebrew nation, would hear his true voice of love with no condemnation in it. And he said uh, to the uh, gospel, uh, to the apostles, he says, you're not ready. I have more to tell you, but you're not ready for it now before he left. So the truth is, beloved, that uh, he knew his voice would be changed. And what happened it was a distortional uh, uh, false god that came forth because early Christian followers, there was no maliciousness of heart. They just didn't understand the prophecy and they built themselves upon something called the New Covenant of Jeremiah 31 and 32, but they switched it. It was written correctly to Israel and all mankind, Jeremiah 32, 27, and they cut that out, and it still says exactly what I'm saying, and they committed the sin of Esau and Jacob. The younger Jacob stole the older brother's blessing. The younger Christian people, they stole the blessing of Israel, and now uh, the, the distortion is uh, cleared up. Now, according to uh, Isaiah 54, now the, uh, the seed of Israel inherits the Gentile. Uh, it's the, the oneness of John 17, 20. It's the oneness of uh, John 10, 15, 16. And this is his beloved uh, faith of love and the just shall live by my faith because I am the one that brings the, the vision of Habakkuk, King James. Um, yea, though uh, the vision has been for the appointed time in the end, it's finally come. Behold, my soul has not always been upright, but the just shall live by my faith, because it is the restored faith of Acts 3.21. And God's word comes forth anew, Daniel 12.9, opening anew, because he said it only would be closed until the time of the end. And it opens people, and his word comes to now to destroy all the kingdoms of man. All the uh, imaginations, Haggai 2.2 2 and Jeremiah 1.10, to tear down all the man-made religion. That is the kingdoms that he would tear down. Never uh, was it meaning that he was going to tear down Canada or United States, all that. That's nonsense. But people haven't understood what's true, what's literal, what's metaphoric. And our religion, our faith is off so much that uh, Christians don't even believe, 1 John 4, 7, that those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. Uh, definitions of born again have always been wrong and off. 
And Jesus said it couldn't even be defined. It's You don't know where the wind blows, he said. you got to be as little children because every single person has been a person of love. Every single person, unless they commit the blaspheme of the Holy Spirit, then, uh, then uh, the bottom line is that uh, they would perish. There is a hell that we would make for ourselves, but he would not send us there. He will never judge us, people, because his everlasting covenant has everlastingly been over all mankind. That's what everlasting means. And that means before the foundation of the earth, the lamb was slain for all people of love, everyone who has their love light on. And this is the faith of love. So um, get ready for the balance of uh, my Bible reading. And uh, I do appreciate all of you, beloved. And I don't uh, mean to shake you silly about uh, not supporting me or giving me likes up. But really, the bottom line, if you guys aren't believing uh, my story, which is absolutely true, then you're, by default, you're standing in line with Morn. You're opposing God's end-time truth that he's sending to keep these days that are literal as days of Noah from being, to eliminate and uh, uh, let the erasable curse of Malachi 4, 6 be erased. Zephaniah 1, Isaiah 24, all of it. Uh, Matthew 24, 22, and Deuteronomy 18, 18, all predicted our total oblivion people and he want he says this he says i love you people i'm going to be your god you're going to be my people he, he, he says i'm going to forgive your iniquity your your sin and remember it never again that sends satan to the pit in this hour and then he says i'm going to write my law and my love upon your heart and uh and he says, and then nobody shall need to be taught of me anymore. Because once you realize that all the wrath of God was all metaphoric and that he was never jealous of anybody because there's never been another God uh, at all. Uh, Adam had no belly button people. Once people realize that, there's absolutely nothing more about him that we really need to know beyond the revelation that he is love. And John the Beloved named him such in uh, 1 John 4, 7. And capital L, that is his name, and to every knee shall uh, bow unto love, and every tongue shall confess love. So get ready, here we go. The blessing of the voice of Supertramp and Roger Hodgson. Beautiful song here. And I'm just going to keep that just like that. So passionate music. And uh, so love from love, beloved. And I'm just going to read you a uh, few verses about gifting of knowledge. For Corinthians, uh, 1 Corinthians 12, 8. For one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom, and to another the utterance of knowledge according to the same Spirit. 1 Corinthians 14, pursue love and earnestly desire the spiritual gifts, uh, especially that you may prophesy, and people <laughs> scared to death of prophecy. For one who speaks in tongues speaks not to men but to God, for no one understands him, but he who utters uh, mysteries in the spirit, that's special. That's what it says, people, and read this. And they that speak in tongues, they build themselves up, but they that prophesy builds up the church, people. So that is the best gift to have, is the gift of prophecy. And uh, uh, Acts 1, 8 says, but you'll receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And that power includes the gift of knowledge. And uh, all throughout the Bible, the word of the Lord came to me, son of man, prophesy against blah, 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 blah. And that's what happens. The word of God is blown and the breath of God comes to those prepared to receive it. And each one of us has received a gift. Uh, many of us have many, uh, uh, there's nine gifts of the spirit. And uh, uh, there, there, there are people that have all nine. And that is for sure people. But uh, of concerning spiritual gifts, Paul didn't want anyone to be misinformed. Uh, so, but, but he said, uh, though I have this tongues of uh, men and angels, but if I have not love, I'm a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. 
And uh, though I have all the prophetic powers and understand all the mysteries and all the knowledge, uh, if I have all the faith uh, as to remove the mountains, but if I have not love, I am nothing. And if I give away all I have to have my body delivered up to be burned, but I have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast, and it is not arrogant or rude. And I've learned that lesson along the way many times. And it does not insist on its own way. Unless you're uh, uh, having a temper tantrum and you're, you're not understanding the word of God and you're uh, trying to force your beliefs on other. I've done it to other people and I was off. I was losing balance. So it's careful not to lose balance. And Isaiah 55, so shall my word be that goeth forth from my mouth. It shall not return void unto me, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. And love never ends. As for prophecy, that they end and they will pass away because they become manifested and then it is no more. Uh, just as Isaiah 49 has been now fully made manifest. Um, but uh, people, it, it's so important to realize that uh, Second Peter said it well, knowing this first of all, that no prophecy of Scripture comes from someone's own interpretation. It comes from the Word of God speaking to our hearts. And uh, I have not interpreted all that I'm giving my message. This was a message that was given to me. I had no clue. He had to wake me up to it because it was against everything that I believed in. There's no difference between Paul and I. Uh, he ended up preaching a gospel he never believed in either. He opposed, and I opposed everything and everyone that ha came uh, with any kind of message of peace like I had. And it was wrong, and it w I was losing balance, and I just, I did not understand the Word of God as He has revealed. So it's, it's time to let those eyes of steel stop. It's time to quit being a joker and uh, believing that everybody is against us people. And I'm just going to hold this up for a second, get a little better view of this. And uh, But the bottom line people, oh and by the way, if you've never heard Fool's Overture, uh, that is the uh, song of uh, Chrislam. Chrislam is the name of Isaiah 62.2. The, it's the new name that God has given Israel after they received their kingdom age, new covenant. That's written correctly to them and all mankind. So people, uh, bottom line is, I'm going to wrap this up now, but I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little uh, insight into the prophetic word of knowledge and uh, prophecy. And, um, you know, the bottom line is, I could not stop God's prophecy from coming so that I could reveal the lawless one, so I could reveal who is the sons and daughters of God, so I could reveal the false prophet, so I could reveal the error made in history as uh, the son of Esau was committed uh, as the younger took the older's blessing, so that I could reveal that when uh, Abraham lifted the knife, it committed Emmanuel into coming. Otherwise, it only would have proved that man loved uh, God more than God loved man people. These are revelations that are true and apparent. And the revelation that we are man angels. We are angels and we are man. And we are the first because we are the last. The first is last. Last is first. Seventh trumpet sounded first because it was the perfect seventh trumpet. And when that happened, all nations became the Lord as the covenant was given to all mankind because he's always been the Lord of all mankind. And uh, Satan has been thrown in the pit according to uh, the word of Daniel 12 and according to the word of uh, Jeremiah 31 and 32 because God says in this hour, I'm going to be your people or I'm going to be your God. You're going to be my people. I'm going to write my law and my love on your heart and I'm going to forgive all your iniquities and never remember it anymore. Right there, Right there is where history was changed and diverted and a false distortion of God came because the words, but you got to believe or do something, were inserted. So people, that has never been a valid insertion. Just as the kingdom age new covenant rightly revealed for God to tear down all the kingdoms of man's uh, false uh, religions. And uh, all religions have been false that judges 
one another. So it is time Jesus is kept in reserve in heaven, cannot even come back until the restoration of his word, Acts 3.21, by his word alone uh, revealing and self-interpreting itself. That is the way it always has been. I might be prepared preparing his way by pointing to all this but his own word prepares his way and uh, so if he threw one person in hell he'd be a liar because he promises never to remember our sin again so satan has been fired as the accuser of the brethren people and the bottom line is uh, all everything is crooked people have not even believed john the beloved and i am the writer of the everlasting gospel and god has uh, put away the butter knife the sword of the spirit because with that we only saw through the glass darkly distortionally but now because the the son of love rises with healing in his wings to destroy the all gross darkness of all man-made religion it's time that we take god out of the box so that we can know him he's singing about his love for Christ people we got to break out of the box and we got to break him out of where we put him we boxed him in and we have not believed his word so it's time we all cry out in love unto him as he pours out his spirit upon absolutely all flesh so thank you for your uh, time and um, I am looking forward to people uh, donating. And uh, I'm gonna give you my uh, email address in one second. But, um, so I'm gonna take my sister's uh, advice, Trudy, and I'm not going to give names or countries of anybody that Lord is placing on my heart, as valid as they may be, because people could uh, interpret that as shenanigans. And uh, so, but the bottom line is, I am disgusted with absolutely no uh, support out there for Trudy and I and we're bringing the true message of love so love from love pressing together press down overflowing and uh, Armageddon dot Owsley people uh, so make sure that you send off uh, uh, a small offering two dollars five dollars a hundred dollars if you want a thousand is better a million is best <laughs> but um, because of Trudy's wisdom uh, I'm going to uh, avoid possible appearance of something off, and uh, so I'm not going to do that anymore. Probably in about a dozen, uh, a dozen of my videos, I was uh, naming uh, through a gift of knowledge. But people, bear with me for one more second now. <laughs> 